Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX UK Mike 7 Echo India Whiskey. I want to welcome you to this video in which um, I had a, a request from Danny Shortwave Radio and DX, uh, please subscribe to his channel, um, saying, you know, asking that, um, you know, about uh, antennas that would be good for, say, an apartment dweller or a flat dweller like myself. Uh, now, I live on the ground floor and um, because uh, I'm not supposed to have any outdoors antennas, let's say fixed outdoor antennas, um, you know, I'm pretty much restricted here. So what would be a good antenna, um, you know, for, you know, out, you know, let's say, for example, like me, um, I, I'm a ham radio uh, license holder and I want to transmit to, you know, the world and so on. Well, there's uh, two antennas that um, I can recommend based on my experience and which I have. The first one is you can try get yourself a loop antenna like this one here, uh, which is the ZFGL uh, loop antenna. It's a low power QRP antenna goes up to a maximum of 20 watts now this I believe uh, Danny told me that um, it's rebranded in the USA so it will probably be rebranded um, you know for the rest of uh, the world but you can get this antenna for something like um, 100 British pounds convert it convert that to your currency and I can say this is my my most used antenna here um, in my flat and it's done a very good job um, I've managed a lot of FT8 on it. I've, you know, managed to do uh, contacts with people in Japan, in the USA, uh, throughout the rest of Europe, um, Russia, and so on. Here in the, you know, uh, here in the UK. And again, you know, this is me on the ground floor with very low height and uh, so on. So very pleased about this. And it also receives very well because loop antennas are, I would say, the best um, if you have a noise problem at home and you want an antenna, say um, that. Uh, you know that uh, can have you know try and reduce that uh, background noise or electrical noise you uh, have in the home now um, just something to point out as well um, is that uh, using these these antennas indoors um, I'm afraid is not very effective especially you know in a place like mine what I mean is if you live in a modern place like mine uh, I moved here in 2008 I think the these uh, blocks of flats were made in 2007 um, the problem with modern buildings is that not only do they have a thick concrete, very thick concrete to withstand, you know, you know, strong winds and, uh, you know, other weather effects. Um, the other thing as well is that they've got reinforced steel and the reinforced steel together with the, the you know, the strong thick concrete really affects, um, you know, signals coming in and signals going out. So if you plan to do this, you know, use these, this antenna indoors, even if like you have it like me here. Um, say up against the windowsill um, I'm afraid you're not going to get much because even the windows as well will uh, not um, you know put out your signals much the best way um, to uh, get your, your signals transmitting out is to put the antenna in an outdoor position and I'm going to show you how what I do oh, I almost knocked out something there okay and then what I do is I just hang it off my my window here my bedroom window because I do my stuff <coughs> excuse me I put my shortwave, my receiving antenna, the MLA30 antenna, um, here in this position, in this place, because it has the least noise. Everywhere else I get a lot of noise. So having it here, it has the least noise. And here as well, I've had a lot of su uh, success with FT8 contacts. Oh, and also as well, I've managed voice contacts with this uh, loop antenna. So uh, yeah, so it's a, it is actually a very good antenna um, for the price. Um, you know, like I said, 100 British, uh, 100 British pounds. So that's an idea for one. Um, if you want an antenna, if you're an apartment dweller, if you have a balcony in your home, even better, just stick it out in the balcony. Um, you know, and um, it should get a lot more than than if you have it um, indoors. Um, and if you are be able to use an antenna indoors with no problem, well, I suppose you live in an old building, you know, or a wooden shack or something like that, because. Um, you know, like I said, modern buildings, you know, they've got very, very thick concrete and, you know, the reinforced steel just all over and it's just preventing, even, you know, even preventing my mobile phone signal from coming in properly. Sometimes I have to put my mobile phone on the windowsill here, um, you know, just like right here, for example, um, in order to get a good signal. So, yeah, this is uh, my loop antenna and this is how I have it in my, you know, this is the position I have it. Um, when I'm doing my ham radio activity so that not only I can receive signals but signals can go out okay so let's like uh, take a look at my next antenna that I use um, here in my flat and that is the MFJ 1621 
Okay, so this is the MFJ1621 um, antenna um, or transmitter, I would say. Um, what it is, is you've got an antenna tuning unit on the box and then you have your antenna here connected. Now, just something to point out, um, I, I did a video about this MFJ1621 before, but this telescopic antenna that you see here is not the original stock one. It's uh, a third party one that I got from eBay that uh, has more uh, length. Um, the original one goes up to something like one one meter seventy five or something like that. This one can go up to five and a quarter meters. So yeah, so this um, MFJ one six two one, just something to point out. It doesn't get the reception as clean uh, as the uh, the loop antenna. But um, if I extend this out, I'm going to show you the position I put it in. So let me just extend this antenna a bit. So it's going off camera. Okay. So what I do is I do this. So let me just leave it here like so. I know it doesn't look very professional, but yeah. Okay, so I put the um, MFJ1621 in this position. I've got the antenna um, sticking out here. I put it out even longer. Now the telescopic, I, I, you know, it, I extended even longer. Okay, so um, I can tell you that um, for signals, for transmitting out signals, because this, the telescopic antenna can reach out higher um, remember height is like an antenna's best friend and um, I can transmit out more than say um, the loop antenna. The loop antenna does a really good job for what it is but because I'm able to extend this antenna higher it's got a little bit more of an edge and can maybe put out a few more signals than say my uh, loop antenna. So yeah I mean put it this way because I'm, in the, I'm on the uh, ground floor again uh, I'm going to have, you know, my results aren't going to be very good than somebody, for example, living in the third or fourth floor. If I was living on the third or fourth floor and all I had was my loop antenna, that's all I'd need um, because, um, you know, I've got the height already. So the height, um, you know, provided with the, the antenna, you know, I will have great results. But again, like I said, I'm lacking, I'm lacking height, um, you know, so... Uh, with this loop and uh, sorry with this whip antenna that I've got and the MFJ1621 extending the, the whip antenna I'm able to um, you know get some height on my antenna and therefore will get me some better results and maybe a few more QSOs or contacts um, than with the um, the loop antenna that I have so this is just an example of the antennas for uh, flat or uh, apartment dwellers you know and when you're restricted for antenna installations now I could always, um, you know, you look here, you see that hedge over there, there's a fence and you can say, hey, you can put an, an end fed wire, you know, you can use something like an end fed wire, put it, you know, connected to some branch or something, you know, down over there. No, I can't do that because if I do that, you know, and somebody gets caught in it, whether a person, an animal or something like that, I'm going to get into, into a lot of trouble, you know, so I'm not going to do that. And I don't recommend other people use a, a wire, a long wire or an end fed um, antenna in a place that might be communal. Thing is nobody's supposed to walk around here in this uh, grassy bit here. It's restricted only to like the workers that you get here cutting the grass, you know, or anybody doing ins inspections. But um, like I said, just be very careful if you're using NFED wires and so on in, you know, in a communal area, um, you know, in case, you know, because there's always, there's always going to be the, um, the health and safety aspect um, of it all. And you don't want to risk your, you know, your, your tenancy. So just remember that. So yeah, so two two of these antennas. If there's any antenna that um, you people, you know, anybody flat dwellers use, let me know. Like I, um, it's like I said, I've seen people use end-fed wires in the home. You know, like for example, they they have it in their bedrooms and so on, around the ceiling and all that. But my, like I said, I've got a, I live in a modern building, you know, and signals. You know they they are absolutely rubbish when they come into the building, whether it's in a portable radio, a mobile phone, and so on. So yeah, and this is what I have to do, you know, in order to carry out my uh, ham radio activity. So yeah, so just showing these two antennas. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Like I said, if you have another antenna, you know, if you if you live in a flat um, and you do um, have maybe a better antenna or better antennas than what I've got, let me know, please. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. 73s and all the best.